This morning in Health Watch, when to consider getting an MRI to screen for breast cancer. Over the weekend, actress Christina Applegate revealed that she's been diagnosed with breast cancer after having a routine MRI. Joining us is Dr. Holly Phillips from WCBS-TV. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. So in her case, it's a very good thing she had that MRI. It certainly is, and it's not surprising that she did. We know that Christina has a strong family history of breast cancer. Specifically, her mother suffered from the disease, and that's why she's been such a vocal advocate for screening. Um, but as of last year, the American Cancer Society uh, suggested mammograms in addition to MRI for women at high risk, so certainly Christina would be in that category. Which should you get first, a mammogram or an MRI? Uh, well, mammograms are recommended for most women who are not at extraordinarily high risk of the disease. Now, if, you had a, if your mother had the disease, sister or your daughter had the disease, um, or if you have a genetic defect like BRCA1 mutation, those people are at high risk and should have, have MRI in addition. But if an MRI can help diagnose breast cancer, why wouldn't everyone get one? Right. Well, MRIs are more sensitive for the disease. They pick up cancer in some ways better than mammogram, but they also pick up what we call false positives meaning they find little details that lead to biopsies and surgery when really it's nothing. So that's why they're not recommended for everyone at this stage. So how should we screen for breast cancer routinely? What's most important is to screen. One in eight women nowadays is going to get a breast cancer in her life. So as long as you get in for screening, I'm happy. But generally, we start home breast exam at age 20. I, I suggest every month at the same time of the month, examine your breasts at home and get into your doctor for a breast exam at at least every three, three years, earlier if, earlier if you can. Uh, mammograms start at age 40, uh, but mammograms and MRIs start younger than that, 35 or even 30, if you're at high risk. Which are the categories you described? Certainly. All right, Dr. Holly Phillips, thank you so much.